Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, and then that way you also get the notifications um, as to when I drop a new video. So, all right, thank you. Um, anyway, so today, um, sort of, you know, this whole month I'm doing this back to school, um, like get ready journey. Most of it is with HTV. Um, today is with HTV as well, but if you've seen it in the past, I have done these cheer bows and I did sublimation ink last time. So on grow grain ribbon, it can take uh, sublimation ink as well as HTV. So these are super versatile. I'll link them in my Amazon shop um, or in the video. They're 18, no, I'm sorry, 16 bows. Um, they're eight inch bows. They're the large cheer bows. And um, they end up being less than a dollar per bow before you deck it out. But um, yeah, it, it's a good deal, I like it. Anyway, I wanna show you how to do this. There are some tips and tricks. So I wanna show you how to um, manipulate the design to make this. One of the things that I learned is the way it comes, you see the tails down here, they're much longer than, oops, let me flip it around. They're much longer than this one. So this one for elementary school kids, like my daughter, um, the tail would be so long because they wear it with a high ponytail up here and the tail basically goes in their face. So we have to trim it. Now the chevron that you usually see, they're not as wide as this. So I'm going to show you how to do it so that you still have tails, you still have the chevron, but you st <laughs> but the tails won't be so long. And I also decked it out with rhinestones. Um, so I will show you how to do that right now. Okay, so first thing is, um, I like using the varsity font. You know, it's great for if you were in high school because then you have the H and the S. So like if it was um, uh, daily high school, DHS, right? I like the three. Unfortunately, this one's dapple gray. So I did DG. I did the Colts in a different color. And it basically, when I put it down, I did it like this. Um, Let's put, uh, let's go to arrange, send to the front. So I did a lighter color in the back, a darker blue in the front. It really pops. You can see, you could read both, which I love. Um, so anyway, I will show you how to do that. So let's go to text. I'm going to recreate this whole thing. Okay. So in text, everybody should have the varsity font. So you click on the fonts and you go and type in varsity. And it's gonna give you that font that we see on the Letterman's jacket. Um, I feel like it, you know, varsity, right? It's all like the school athletic stuff. So over here in the text box, I'm gonna type DG. And so you can, why didn't the G, oh, there it is. So I'm gonna make this bigger. Now here's the thing. When I originally cut this, so this size, so, the ribbon is three inches wide. So know that you can have a little bit of something up on the top two and then also in the tails, but it's three inches no matter what. So if you look at this, um, this is the size that I did, right? So it's two inches across because I wanted some space, but Colts is a little bit long. Colts is 2.9. Now, if you ever look at these ribbons, you don't have the full three inches because there's like a thick line that runs along both sides and that's to keep the ribbon from fraying. So I did 2.9 because I was gonna do the whole thing tilted. So if you rotate it a little bit, you have a little bit more space, right? Cause it's a little bit longer if you go diagonally. So that's kind of what I did with this. It went diagonal. So I kept it at the 2.9 and it fit perfectly. Um, okay, so here's the DG. The other tip that I have for you is you see how thin this line is. I tried to cut it in with glitter HTV and it just killed it. At this small size, this thin line just did not make it. Regular HTV was totally perfect. So um, just kind of, you know, know your materials that it was just too thick, it didn't hold, it didn't cut well, and it wasn't worth it. So, okay, here's the DG, right? I'm gonna keep it big just so that you can see it. 
Um, then the next thing is the text. This is my favorite, <laughs> I know it's my favorite uh, font. So it's from Creative Fabrica. So you can go to Creative Fabrica and just get the one font. It's called Hannah Berry Koo. And the reason why I like it is because it's a very cute, whimsical font, but it looks really delicate, but it's not. So let me type out Colts. And um, let's make it bigger just so that we can see it, okay? The little thin lines, oh my gosh, it's still cut perfectly. I mean, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to see if you can see it. Um, in the pictures, you'll be able to see it. It's super delicate. I'm gonna show you how to do the little lines for the C and the S, okay? So, um, Creative Fabrica, sorry. Um, I have a membership uh, discount code. So it's the Useless Crafter 30, which means basically once you sign up for it and you use that, first of all, the first month is only a dollar. So you can try it and, you know, three weeks in, cancel it if you feel like it's not bringing you any value. Um, but if you continue, it's $1 for the first month. And then the regular price is $30 a month, which gives you the commercial license for it. But I have the discount for 30% off. Make sure that you enter it when you purchase it. And then every month going forward, it's $19. That's the membership that I have. And I love it because it's all the fun fonts that you don't get in design space, plus images and all that other good stuff, classes and whatever else. All right. To get the fancy fonts, what I do is, um, I'm gonna go, oh, here is the bow right here. And I'm gonna go to, oops, no, it's here. Sorry, main type. Um, so I'm gonna open it up, it's an app. Um, main type, you can go in, it has all your fonts and I'm gonna pull it over so you can see it in just one second. Oh no, did I open the wrong thing? Hold on, sorry. Main type, where are you? Okay. Um, so it has all your fonts and it has all the extras that come with the font. So I'm gonna pull it over so you can see it right now. I love it, it's super easy to use. And you know, that's my main thing. I use the free edition. I'm all good, okay. So over here, I'm gonna go find my font. So it's Hannah Berry Koo. Um, so it's right here. These are all the pretty letters that come with it, right? So I'm specifically looking for this, the little swish before the C, so here it is. So you can hover over it, or you can click on it and see what you like, right? So right now it's selected. I'm gonna hit Control C, then I'm going to go to Design Space and I'm going to click on a new text box and I'm going to do Control V. You must, when you open up that text box, so let's open up the text box again. The text box and the text font has to match with what you're dropping in. So this has to be Hannah Berry Koo for you to drop in that C with the swoosh, okay? So here it is, and I'm just gonna make this bigger. And I'm gonna use that original C to kind of gauge how big it should be. So perfect, right? So I'm gonna grab this, ungroup it, grab my C, delete it, and drop in my new C. There's my new C. And then I'm gonna get that S, right? So let's go to here and let's look for the S. I mean, look at all these beautiful ones, like this M, so beautiful, <laughs> right? All these things that you can use. Um, all right, so let's look for my S. Um, and also, look, this is the L and the T, right? So let's get this one, control C. I did not do it the first time. See how the T doesn't go past that L? So let's go to add a text box, control V and drop in that L T and I'm gonna make it bigger. And look it, that is so much prettier because that T is still you know visible. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. There, that 
matches, okay? So I'm gonna take out this L, take out this T, drop in this new combo, right? I mean, that's so pretty. Okay, <laughs> we still need to find our S. All right, um, I'm getting uh, sidetracked here. All right, here, oh, where's my S? I already passed it. Um, now I'm looking at all these beautiful fonts and oh, here's my S right here. Okay, so this is the one I want. I'm gonna hit Control C, go to Design Space, oopsies, okay. Um, text box, make sure my text and the font is Hanaberry Koo, Control V, drop that in, and there is my beautiful S, okay. So I'm gonna make this S kind of match, right? Um, let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything. There, that looks about right. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this S. And here, you know, you can make some changes here because um, I mean, oh, I don't really like the way, I want it to connect, but I almost feel like this S needs to be smaller. And then you could even do something like that, right? So like you can manipulate it a little bit. Um, maybe the Colts needs to go down a little bit so it's like more bouncy. Okay. And then now we're gonna grab this whole thing and we're gonna weld it so it becomes one piece and you don't have the cut lines for each individual letter because you don't want that. Okay, so here's Colts, here's DG. Let's resize the Colts so it kind of matches the DG and then we'll resize everything at the end. So to make it easier to see, we'll make this one a light blue, this one a dark blue, which is basically how I cut it. And you see how you can read that? I think it looks so cute. Okay, so now that we have this, let's look at this. We know where um, we need to be at three inches or less, right? So here's three inches. No, now I go back to 100%. And the DG will be an uh, inch in some and two inches across, so that's good. This is going to be 2.9 inches. We can make this a little bit bigger because remember, we can rotate it to the side. That'll make it a little bit easier for us. Okay, so this is good. Let's look at the chevron. So um, let's go to images and type in chevron. And I did this last week, so I don't even remember which chevron I used, but it doesn't matter because we have to find it and you would need to look for it as well. So here we go. Oh, it was this one. <laughs> I recognize it. Okay, um, let's insert this one and I'll show you how different it looks than, the, than what it ended up being. Because if you do this one, it's curved at a greater angle. So it's gonna take more of your, you know, of the tail to accommodate this, right? Because look at, look at the difference. It goes, so if I made this three inches to match, so this is three inches across, right? But look at how much deeper this, this chevron, and then this one, this one cuts down a little bit more, right? So what you can do is you can unlock it and you can make it flatter, which is what I did, okay? That gives you a shorter tail, um, but you can still have two, you know, like a set of chevron stripes, okay? Then on here, because it's all grouped together, you can bring in a square and slice everything out. That's basically what I did. So watch, watch and learn as my daughter likes to say. <laughs> I'm gonna unlock it so that I can get this whole thing right here. You can only slice two things at one time so we're slicing the rectangle and our orange chevron stripes. So I'm grabbing these two and I'm gonna slice. This breaks it apart. It's, we're basically slicing out you know, the piece from the image. So. All of this we can get rid of. Oops, I'm gonna move it to the side. 
And so see now our orange, it doesn't have to cut all four pieces like that. Um, you can do the same thing up here and get rid of those. So right now I'm just gonna delete all of this. Now we can bring in a square and um, slice out the top part, um, or you can go to contour and you can just click on it like we don't want. I think that's right. That can't be right. Okay, I'm left with that one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna select this piece right here that I don't want. Okay, so now I'm left with just these bottom two. So that's how I got these. Um, now, I got the thinner ones. The thinner one's easy. It's basically this middle part, right? So if you want that, first of all, let's make this three inches or 2.9, right? Let's make it a little bit in or even, um, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, 2.933. So you could do it like that, but you know, it doesn't matter, 2.9. Let's go to shapes, let's bring in a square and let's make it 2.9. Because we basically wanna slice out this thinner piece so that you could, if you wanted to, go in between. So I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna to go to align and you wanna align left. So now I know it's exactly on top of each other and I'm gonna grab, oh, I already grabbed those two and I'm gonna slice. So if you wanted to do blue, white, blue, for instance, I thought about doing that for a second and then I ended up not doing it. So here's the middle line. So on this one, you just go to contour and we're gonna get rid of the top piece and the bottom piece, and we're left with a perfectly fit middle line, okay? That's how you do that. Um, I ended up putting rhinestones in there. So we're almost done with this cheer bow. The only thing left is this little pom-pom, which I thought was cute. It was actually left over from a different project. So it's a little bit bigger than I think what should have been on this bow. So when you look at the Instagram pictures, um, it's not, I mean, it is a design flaw in the sense that I used it, but I needed it to be smaller, but I didn't want to recut everything. So go to images and I mean, this totally changes cheer bows. I think it's so stinking cute. The girls love it. Um, let's see, cheer bow. Oh, no, 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 cheer, no, what did I put in? Pom-poms maybe. And, oh, that one's a cute one. Um, no, I did this one. Okay, so insert images. And you, you know, you wanna size it and then you can ch easily change the colors. So here it is up here. So you can just click on each one of these. Because it was a white bow, I did just the colors of blue. So you can just, you know, start changing it here. And you don't need to do all the layers because the bottom layer was, I did white because it was going on something else. Um, or you could do two, you know, just two colors, oops. then you wanna resize it. So you know the width of the ribbon is three inches. I would probably do this one just like, yeah, two and a half, maybe two and a quarter. That's a better size. So you can see this one was 2.7. It was way too big. Um, all right, so that's the whole cheer bow. Um, oh, the only thing is this little line. This little line is to go in the middle right here to just bring out a pop of blue. And with Glitter HTV, it's easy to manipulate and get your um, mini press in there, your Cricut Mini. And I was able to heat all the way around. And then you can even put more rhinestones on it, it's up to you. But this little line is super easy to do. You just go to shapes, we want a square, 
And I kind of just cut way larger than I needed to because then you can always trim and do whatever afterwards. But basically unlock it and you can make it super thin. I don't remember, is it a quarter of an inch? Oh, 0.22, I didn't, I, oh, it's so close, 0 0.208. Anyway, you can do a couple of these. That's your cheer bow. Um, I have been using HTV from Polytape and I will say I, I really do love it. So the HTV is thin enough that it's easy to cut. So like this little Colts right here, it cut perfectly. It weeded really easily. I have a discount code. I don't get paid on the affiliate link at all. That's just a discount code they gave to me to, to um, forward to you guys, but I don't get paid on that. Um, but it's 20% off, so it's a good deal. And the great thing about the turbo line is it only takes three to five seconds to heat and to stick on. So at three to five seconds, it is so unlikely that you would burn your project, right? So I've been putting this on backpacks, on a cinch bag, like, a, I don't know, like just everything. So if you look at my Instagram, you can see I am really customizing a lot of things that I normally would probably be scared to customize. But knowing that I only need to heat it for three to five seconds for it to stick, um, I've been trying everything <laughs> and I love it. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. That is forever and ever. Um, it, it may say it expires in 30 days, but they have told me that if I wanted to, I can always extend that. So of course I'm going to, cause why wouldn't I? Cause you know, we don't, you don't always buy HTV to stock up. It's when you need it. So um, I'm gonna try to hold on to that discount code because I absolutely, love 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 their HTV um all right that's all I got for you the oh the other cool thing that might have been cool on the cheer bow is they have a reflective HTV which so far I've used on the backpack so I did the paw prints the cat paw prints so that's kind of cute like it you know I always think of like reflective safety gear and I think of like just plain old bars on a jacket and it's ugly but just useful um but i did paw prints which i feel like we could do on the cheer bows for the girls that have you know night cheerleading that would be really really cute um i didn't think of that until now all right anyway <laughs> i'm babbling i will see you guys next time bye